Anybody can stand behind this desk, but it takes a student of the word to rightly divide the word of truth. Second Kings chapter four, starting in verse one, it says, a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elijah saying, your servant, my husband is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord and the creditors are coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. And so Elijah said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, your maidservant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Then he said, go borrow vessels from everywhere. Somebody shout everywhere. From all your neighbors. And then make them empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. And when you have come in, you shall shut the door. Bump somebody close to you say, sometime I gotta shut you out of some stuff. Behind you and your sons. And then pour it into all those vessels. And set aside the full ones. And so she went from him and shut the door behind her. Hallelujah. And her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. Now it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her sons, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not another vessel. So they all ceased. Let me just drop this on you real quick. You notice they didn't run out of oil till they ran out of vessels. And then she came and told the man of God, and he said, go sell the oil. Go to the mall. Oh, okay. oh pay your debt. Oh, okay, pay your debt. And you and your son live on the rest. I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about your faithfulness counts with God. Yes. Yes. Amen. The grass withers, the flower fades thereof, but the word of God shall stand forever. I, I could have talked to you about living off the leftovers, but that would have been too easy. I want to deal with the fact that your faithfulness, thank you, Ashes, thank you so much. Your faithfulness counts with God. Amen. I maintain that good stewardship of your possessions, which God has given us oversight of, is born out of the relationship you have with God. Yes, you, you're going to help me? Yes, sir. Now, 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 let me just go ahead and give you this disclaimer. I should have said this when I first got up here and got started, that I never ask anybody in a new location that I go to to shout for me. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Because I can shout for myself. Oh, yes, sir. Um, but the psalmist says that if the Lord has truly been good to you, then the redeemed ought to say so. Amen. So if I say anything you know anything about, you ought to say so. And you all not matter who you're sitting next to. Do I, do I have any loud folks? Yes! Me and you and Sister Jordan ought to feel right at home. Anybody here, do I have any club, ex-club folk? Yeah. Could nobody holler louder than me? They, they, they better not play my song. Come on, help me. You better not play my song now. I believe that, I believe that, I believe that, that, that your stewardship with what God gave you, the material God placed oh, God. in your hand, oh, God. is an indication of your relationship with God himself. Oh, yeah. uh, amen. In our text this, this afternoon, we see this woman, we don't know a whole lot about her. Right. Don't know her name. Amen. Uh, don't, don't, don't know her husband's name. Amen. We, we, we don't know. We know she got two boys. And we know she's financially challenged. Is it alright for me to say that? Financially challenged. Like I was growing up in third ward. Financially challenged. That's a good way of saying I was poor. Amen. But I didn't realize I was poor until I got to TSU. Amen. And I 
realized that my stuff wasn't like everybody else's stuff around there. Yeah. Uh, that she was financially challenged and she's met with a dilemma. And because it's Family and Friends Day, I ought to not come here and not leave something you can take back with you. Amen. Uh, amen. I ought not, I'll not stop by here and tell you that you ought not get your house in order yeah. while you're here. Yeah. Some, somebody going to help me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, this woman was in shape. She was in because her and her mate had not prepared that the end time was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You might as well touch your neighbor and say that if the Lord tarries, you're going to leave here. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God God has his own, I shared this with our church a couple of weeks ago, his own uh, circulation process. God will either take stuff from you or he'll take you from stuff. But either way, God has a way of getting things around. And so, believe it or not, you're going to get out of here. And you ought not leave here and leave the folk who care for you behind worrying about how to help get you out of here. Right there, you, you all, you all not do that. This, this, this man here was gone, and, and 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 here he left his wife, and the Bible says she cried uh, uh, to Elisha. This wasn't crying like connoting tears. It literally means she was terrified. She didn't know how she was gonna make it. And come on, help me if you can. Not only was her chain strange, but her boo was gone. She, she's in a difficult situation. And during that time, uh, she, she didn't have a MasterCard. She didn't have a visa. There was no American Express of Jerusalem in town. She had no money to deal with. And what they did then was when you were in debt, they came and took your children to suffice your debt. And I know, I know, some of y'all trying to give your children away. Come on, help me. Come, 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 on, come on, help me if you can. Come on, help me. Some of y'all will pay somebody to take them. But, 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 but the reality is, she was in torment. She was in tears. And so she went, as we do, to the church. Somebody ought to help me here. Somebody ought to help me here because... Because, listen, when we're in trouble, you don't have to care what time the service is. They're going to be here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tears, tears will fill up the pews. Somebody ought to help me here. Two, three more years of Trump will fill up the pews. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I got good news for you. I, I got good news for you. Solomon says in Proverbs, even the king's heart is in the Lord's hands. He can turn it with us whoever he chooses. Listen, when God get tired of him being who he is, and when we get ourselves together, it's not Trump's fault, it's our fault. I'm, I'm, I'm finna tell you why, Missy. I see you looking at me like that. I'm finna, I'm finna